Hi guys, it's me, Boog! And Dad! And today we're going to be reviewing the DC Multiverse McFarlane, Donna Troy! On the uh, Titans line, Beast Boy Build-A-Figure! We're back with another uh, DC Multiverse review! And this time it's Donna Troy from the Titans. Yes. Uh, do I know who Donna Troy is? No. No. But I'm very neither. interested to find out. But she was a required purchase if you wanted to uh, get all the parts for the Beast Boy build a figure, which is exactly what me and Boo are after. As you can see, because we get the arms. Yes, so you get uh, a, a fairly cool looking uh, lady figure here with a really awesome sword. And there's uh, the back. So we do get the arms with this one, and then and then in Raven's packaging, we get the head and hands, and with uh, Arsenal, we get the legs. And then we already got the torso. Uh, if you checked out our Nightwing review, where we got the torso, which is right here. Right. So, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, like I said, we don't know who she is, but the awesome thing about uh, McFarlane or Farlane uh, toys is you get an awesome little baseball card in there that tells you all about the figure, okay. which I love. So now I can get educated and check out a cool figure at the same time and get my pieces for the build of thing that we need. So it's a win-win, right, Boo? Yep. So Dad's not buying, like, Eyeball Man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. There's no idea why he has an eyeball as, as his head. Yes. Captain Skidmarks. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right. It is good to move on. All right. So you see here in the back of the pack, you get your stand. Once you get one of these included with every Farley figure, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, and the baseball card. So are we trying to extract those? Yep. Uh, I got these under control. So there's the baseball card. Ta da! Oh no, sorry, Riddler. Dad! Uh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's an accident. The arms are, or at least this one is very stiff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my stand? <laughs> he lost it. I told you that. Jeez. Really, stop asking the same question over uh, and over again. That's really true, this guy. So, here's your total off of stand that you get. Most of them are all the same. The BC logo. Um, you know, about three inches around. Got the peg. Perfect. Exactly what you need for if you're a collector, which we are. So, that's why we need that. And it's awesome. Yeah. Now, if you're a kid playing with these, that's great, too. But you probably don't need to stand, because you're just going to, you know, <laughs> do like this. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, you don't even have the fully on you're screen. Going down. There you go. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Better call Batman. So, something like that. Oh, well, there's one problem. We don't have a Batman yet. That's true. We somehow <laughs> we don't have a Batman figure, so... <laughs> I guess you can't call him. Riddler, you won! <laughs> well, Dad, uh, take a look. Uh, read off the trading card for us. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, so anyway, distracted. Uh, show him show the picture on the Right. So here it is. We have Donna Troy. Nice little comic book photo there. And she's doing some... I don't know what... She, oh. She's got on a sleeve thingy. It's got some pictures on it. She kind of, she so, kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman. Kind yeah. of does. Maybe, maybe she is. Uh, maybe she's part of Titans, maybe Teen Titans. I'm not sure if that's the same thing. So uh, this is her data file. Real name, Donna Troy. Donna Troy was a valiant hero in every iteration of Earth's reality. She has fought injustice in the Teen Titans. There you go. And their adult incarnation. But her origins have radically shifted in every instance. She discovered the horrific answer. She was not an Amazon. Oh, you're right. There's a woman tied. Right, or, yeah. And so she, she was not Amazon, a human mis mystically empowered, or even a small girl raised and modified by the Titans of Myth. After the return of original Kid Flash, Wally West, began to grab malicious alterations to the time stream. Donna learned that she was not even alive, but a construct of clay animated by magic and Amazon. 
But when this that happening, Fred <laughs> destroy Princess Diana if she ever went rogue. That is shocking. What just happened oh, at the end? <laughs> Can't even know what happened at the end and just turned to chaos. Yeah. Um, Princess Diana is also known as Wonder Woman. Yeah. So she's she's uh yeah. So she's somehow some weird incarnation alien thing that's ready to destroy. Princess Diana, I guess, or Wonder Woman. Wonder Wonder Woman. Unfortunately, we don't have a Wonder Woman figure either. But we have no one from the Justice League. How did this happen? I don't know. So weird. Like we started off with Titans, I guess. Um, but hopefully, we'll remedy that situation soon. Uh, so yeah. So if we ever do get Wonder Woman, um, well, Dana Troy is going to destroy it. I guess. I guess. Let me chair. Miss Troy, do you, do you have to do that? Well, it did say if she ever goes rogue, so maybe she hasn't gone rogue yet. Well, have you ever seen Wonder Woman go rogue yet? Well, no, no, she's talking about this, talking about this figure. So yeah. here's the totally yeah. awesome sword. It comes with Donna Troy. Pretty cool. I'm going to put it in her hand while big is... Uh, well, here's, here's Beast Boy, or I guess, okay. I guess technically he's Beast Man in this, I guess. <laughs> technically. Because, <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess technically because of this, because they they're the adult versions. You get what I'm saying? He's te- he's technically Beast Man in this. Oh, oh, kind of. Okay. Anyway, so um, there are his arms. I'd say to be more like this. All right. So yeah, I got the sword in. Now, if you if you look at this figure, um, closely, yeah, you can definitely tell. She kind of mirrors Wonder Woman in some ways. And yeah, she does look like she'll be a pretty uh, awesome villain you know, to take on Wonder Woman. If uh, I guess it ever came to that. But this is a really cool figure. I like this a lot. Um, the head sculpt is really good. The haircut's nice. I think they did a great job with this. The armor looks good. I love the stars on the side of the pants. Um, it's like Boog said, they're kind of, they're not stickers or painted on. They're, you can feel them like in a two. Hey, they're sculpted on. Oh, sculpted on, which is a really nice feature. Um, these are, they're not removable, but I think it's like a, it's like a thing that goes over the head. Yeah. yeah. Thing. Rubber thing. So anyway, I'll let Boog <clears throat> give you his thoughts on are the articulation and that good stuff. Okay. So, uh, because you have a lot of hair, we're not really getting much up here. Uh, but you get a good down. Right. And uh, not much chill because the hair gets in the way again. Yes. Arm goes up to there. That's okay. These are definitely the tightest butterfly joints we've seen so far. Okay. Uh, Does everybody have butterfly so far? Yes. Or McFarlane's version of butterfly, I guess. Yeah. Uh, double double elbow goes up to there. Hand goes up and down, but you can also turn it to go side side to side. Let's see, so Ab Crunch goes let's see, goes not not great, but yeah. Um legs legs go pretty high, pretty high up. Double knee. Um so uh double knee all the way up. Almost touches her back. Impressive. Um, no, no swivel at at the boot. I feel like there, that was a good opportunity for it there. Back to there, and not much for because of the boot sculpt. And then we have toe. Yeah, it's favorite. Okay, now let's do a, a size comparison because this is a very big lady. So there's Nightwing. Even for a, a McFarlane. Oh, and here, figure. well, first, let's get a better look at the sword. Right. It looks cool. It's very rubbery, you know. Yeah, it's... It's all one... It would be cool if we got, like, some, like, I guess, color or something. Yeah, there's no paint detail or anything. I mean, it's just a plain old silverishly gray sword. But I still like the look of it. And it's also warped. Great. Yeah, this is the <laughs> rubbery thing. Yes. <laughs> it's a little warped. Okay. Size comparison. That's what I thought. She's she's the big figure. I mean, uh, 
Nightwing is a, a full seven inch figure, and then you can see how much taller she is. So yeah, these would probably figures get really large. So yeah, she's, she's in the even, Riddler. She's even she's uh, taller than Riddler, who is uh, bigger than yeah than uh, yeah, Nightwing. She, yeah, she's barely taller than Riddler. Yeah, this is a big figure, and it looks it looks really amazing. I love this figure. Well, actually, I will say this for Riddler: um, his his knee his lower knees are kind of weird, where they kind of have to, he ha- kind of has to have his knees crouched to stand up properly. Right. So, well, I guess here we go. This is gonna be the real comparison, I guess. So I'm guessing now they'll probably be around the same height. Yeah. Yeah. Looks closer. So, and then looking at the closer details, like you can see pins here. And I think that's something that Marvel Legends has gotten ahead of them on. Um, yeah. It doesn't bother me. I will but... say this. When I, when, uh, seeing the uh, the legs of this Beast Boy, uh, or Beast Man, I guess, Um yeah, I kind of do have a problem with the pegs because they're absolutely massive <laughs> for uh, the legs. Oh, but we haven't seen them yet, have we? Well, you can look at them from there. Oh. Look how huge they are. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yes, yes. Anyway, we'll get to that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Not totally, you know, saying that everything that, that uh, Hasbro's doing in Marvel Legends is bad. They they definitely got to beat all the joints. And I'm assuming, yeah, it's the same thing for the arm joints, right? We've got yeah. pegs here. Don't have it on on the Marvel Legends. So that's that's a plus. Now, uh, I was going to say, um, compare the butterfly joint while we have a second. Show them what it looks like in standard position. Well, here she is next to a standard Marvel Legends. <laughs> yeah, and you can just see how much more of a figure getting for the same money, and a lot of times less. Now, I won't say less with this figure, at least not right now. Every one of these figures this set, I uh, paid the full price, twenty four ninety nine for. Um, but there's lots of other sets I have purchased that I was able to get for a lot less through Amazon. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah, should compare the butterflies in standard position. So, so let's see. So, you could kind of... Well, I mean, first, show what it looks like, because I think that's the biggest difference. That's how... So... It's, and this is how it looks on a... Just a regular pose on a uh, multiverse versus a, a Marvel Legends. From this pose, I, and probably the, the darker figure is not the best one to do on camera. But from the this pose here, I think... McFarlane has them beat. This looks much more natural. Yeah, like you still get a butterfly. Well, I feel like I feel like um, I do kind of feel like like um, like um, I do feel like when it comes to like the overall articulation using the butterfly joints, that um, that um, Marvel Legends uh, d- does it better. Even though you technically get more articulation with. Uh, these butterfly joints, they don't really look as realistic as these ones do. Which one? What are you talking about? Or at least when it comes to articulation, because the articulation is kind of more realistic for this one. See, I feel like this is not realistic. Like, that doesn't look normal. Yeah, like, not like... Does. Yeah, like, not like, like... But I'm talking I about, understand like, what you're articulation. saying. With that style of butterfly joint, you get more movement, whereas, like, in the back with him, which I guess is what we're trying to get, that's as close as the arms are going to go together. And then, which, obviously, you get more movement with uh, with him. So it kind of just depends. Is it necessary to have that much? I mean, I guess what we're trying to do with those, right, is get into like a pose where like he's going to jail or something. I mean, you're trying to get it where he's going to do this, this kind of thing here. And as you can see to me on this Nightwing figure, it looks absolutely great without having all the, have all the weirdness in the back. They've accomplished it with here, but, but that's just me. I don't know. What else are we trying to do with the butterfly joint? And is there, is there some other pose that I'm missing other than that, you know? Well, you can also do this. You can also, like, like from the front. So a little more together in the front. Yeah, but my biggest problem, my biggest problem is that, um, well, I guess it's not as bad. It's not as bad on this figure as it is kind of with um, Riddler, because you can see, like, <laughs> it's kind of, like, bulging out there. What's that? The the uh, that they, that's my thing with the, these butterfly joints that they kind of bulge out in places. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, like on like if you like pull, pull, put the arm down, it like it looks like it's like bulging out. Yeah, so it's not a perfect way to do it. I guess it's the way it's whatever you prefer. I just prefer this look over this craziness in the back here. And like I said, I'm on, on a he's all black, so it's not as noticeable, but. On a regular figure, to me, this just looks really weird. And uh, the wrestlers do it. That's Mattel. Yeah. So they do their own kind of 
way too. So that all the companies. Yeah, and and it. I'm pretty sure AEW also has the double jointed arms. Yeah. So that's Jeff. I just want to point that out. So anyway, I think we're about at the end of our um review for Donna Troy. Uh, apparently, possibly Wonder Woman's arch nemesis somewhere down the line. Maybe we'll see. Um. So yeah, I uh, hope you like it and like the review. If you do, you know, share it, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one. As we work our way closer to building Beast Boy. Ridley, why are you here? I'm still looking for my stand. It makes more sense for Nightwing to be here because at least he's in the exact same set. No, like you. Sorry. So, get out. Did I come in a set? No, you're a single release. No. Anyway, so uh, like and subscribe for more. Bye.